Okay, there you go. We made it to Wisconsin. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, about 34 degrees, but here we are. And there's Mr. Subaru and Mr. Scamp down there, and we're headed on over, going to Haywad, Wisconsin. Stop by and see a, one of my subscribers and have a bowl of chili with him. Can't beat that poor day. Good meal and a hot shower. Okay, this is my setup at Rick's house. He's got me in front of the garage. I have electricity. I'm all hooked up so I can run my heater at night. But he was um, like a camp host, an overseer of a campground here for um, in Haywood, um, Wisconsin. It used to be a family-owned resort center, but they've sold it off. And he's getting ready to leave here on next week sometime. And this is where I stayed, or where I've been for like the last week or so now. But Pretty sweet setup. I'll show you a picture of the resort kind of like place. Okay, they had a pool right there, and I think they got like five small cottages, three season cottages. And um, his family owned it for 72 years. That's only four season house up there, but pretty nice place, I mean. And they got a big old lake back there because I watched them take the um, docks out of the water the other day, but. Like I said, pretty sweet sub. You, there goes old crazy right there, running around sniffing everything. But pretty nice setup. Pretty nice. Made it to Wisconsin. I'm at a a buddy's house, Rick, and that's Zip and Little Man. They're trying to make friends with each other. Little Man won't get out of the carriage because he's my little sissy baby. But Little Man and Zip, yeah. Zip trying to make friends with little man, but little man is a squirrely little dude. I'm in a little town called Haywad, and uh, this is the main drag right here. I'm gonna give you all a walk through this little town. I doubt it has more than, I wouldn't say 5,000 people, but it's a real cute little town. I mean, they got a big fish. I wanna go get a shot of that too, but let's check out the town first. I'm with Rick, uh, my newly found buddy up here. And he's kind of like taking me around, showing me a different thing. Cute little town, as you can see. Just this is the main drag right here. But we ate at that restaurant over here. Uh, it's over there, that right there, the other night. Had some really good food. But just your typical little cute little town. It kind of like reminds me of a little western town. But I found me a barber shop with poles over there. But um, pretty nice, isn't it? As usual, most of these little towns are real. Patriotic, they always have their American flags flying, and that just shows USA, doesn't it? I guess during tourist season, this is a kicking little town, but right now it's pretty much empty. But I, I just really enjoy these little small towns so much to see and experience, just really cool. Just more shots of it, but as you can see, it's pretty much empty, but really cute little town. I just really enjoy these little small towns, I really do. It even has a Walmart in this little town. Um, it's got quite a few nice restaurants to eat in, but there's a fish, we'll go check it out. It's, it's a huge fish, I mean, it is big, but we'll let y'all get a glimpse of it in just a second here. I notice they have so many ice cream places up here, but you got another um, cone right there, but really cool. Is that the biggest fish you've ever seen? It's, it, it's actually a whole fish, but due to COVID-19, they got the gate closed, so I can't go in there and get a better shot of it. So I'm going to get this shot, and I'm going to go around front and see if I can get a better shot. But she's a biggie. Like I said before, due to COVID-19, they got a gate that says electric fence. So this is probably the best view I'm going to be able to get, but that is one big fish, isn't it? There's a couple little small baby ones over there too, but that is one huge fish right there. Got quite a few fish in there, but I mean, it's pretty rough that I can't get in there and get a better shot of her. Pretty wild, isn't it? Some good sized fish. And then you see, look at that bass straight ahead with its mouth open. Pretty wild. <laughs> He looks like he's hungry, wanting to eat something. 